Our competitors, the other conventional fighter groups, they were flying P-51s and the F-82, and we were flying the obsolete P-47. And uh, they didn't think we were for real. Number one, we were black and we were flying this obsolete aircraft. Uh, we led this competition from start to finish. Uh, one of the meat rules was if you have to abort, you start your engine and have to abort, you will not take off, your team members will take off, and their scores will be counted. Now there are two trophies to be awarded for this weapons meet. One high individual and one high team. Like I said, we were leading, leading from start to finish. And Captain Temple was leading as high scorer. The day of the uh, panel of gunnery, one of the pilots in the P-51 outfit had to abort. They gave him another airplane. And he took off and flew, and they countered his score. And he had a terrific score on this panel strafing. And he aced Captain Temple out of his position as number one. Now, my thinking is they couldn't stand to have the 332nd win as a group and also as high scorer. So therefore, they bent the rules and let him take off after he aborted his mission. However, we won the meet and we were never recognized as the winners of the 1949 weapons meet. The Air Force Association puts out a magazine every month. Once a year, they put out an almanac. One of the items in the almanac are the winners of the 1949 weapons meet through present day. Each year when the almanac came out, the winner of the 1949 weapons meet was listed as unknown, unknown, unknown. Finally, in 1993, our commander, Colonel Campbell, researched, got the data together, presented to the Air, Air Force. As of April of 1995, it shows the 332nd fighter group as the winner of the 1949 weapons meet. 46 years, they know who won, didn't run, won't recognize us. Our trophy was lost. We have a young lady in Atlanta, she's an historian. She made it her mission to find this trophy. She found it at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Museum storage area. And she said, uh, why isn't this on display? They said, we get a lot of items, we can't display everything, and this trophy will never be on display. Well, it is on display at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Museum. 55 years in hiding. That's the story of the 1949 weapons meet from the 332nd fighter group standpoint.